Welcome to the Consultation Manager training videos. In this video, we'll be going through our search functionality. Firstly, we'll go through a basic search where we find a specific stakeholder. Then we'll go through how to do a more complex multi-layered search. The search is a very powerful and flexible tool that can help find a specific record or a larger set of records that exist in your system. For example, you can run a simple search to find an individual stakeholder using their first or last name. Or you can run a multi-layered search to find all events from the last six months which are related to stakeholders in a specific organisation. So to start, we'll run through a very basic search. Firstly, let's make sure we have the right projects selected in our project tree. Your projects are usually the first way to start filtering your data. Next, choose which entity you're looking for, keeping in mind that the entity we have selected here is the only kind we will see in our search results. So, if I select stakeholders, we will only see the details on stakeholder records. We can now search on any of the details on that particular entity. So we can now select to search on any of the details on stakeholders. For this example, we know their first and last name. So we'll start by selecting last name, enter it in, and click on the search icon to apply this filter. You can see my search has been activated at the bottom of the search box. If we can see the stakeholder we're looking for, then we can go ahead and open their profile. Or if we need to narrow our search down further, we can use their first name too. We can do that by changing the detail field we're searching on, adding their first name, and add it to our search by clicking on the refine button. This should now show all records that match both of these criteria. From here, you can open the record you're after in the workspace. That was an example of a basic multi-layered search. Now, we are going to go a little bit more in depth and run through an example of a multi-layered search using different techniques. In this example, I'm going to find events that have occurred in July where residents have engaged with us. Again, let's start by making sure we have the right projects open. For this example, I only want to see data related to my infrastructure projects. Then, we are going to change the entity we are searching for to events. We can now select our first filter as a date range for the month of July by clicking the 1st and 31st of the month. To activate the search, click on the search icon. Next, we are going to add on our related search. By changing this first drop down to related to, we get another drop down box that becomes available. We are looking for events related to stakeholders, which will now give us the option to search for the stakeholder group residents. To activate this second search, we're going to click Refine. To go a little further, we can add another stakeholder group to our search and change it to say, we want to find events from July that have been with stakeholders within the resident stakeholder group or the business owner stakeholder group. We can do that by adding another layer onto our search by clicking the plus button and following the previous steps. Once that's been activated, Clicking the AND button will change it to ALL. You can see our search has refreshed to now show events within July, which are related to stakeholders that are residents or business owners. Thank you for watching and if you'd like any further details on searching or viewing your results, please take a look at our support knowledge base or ask our friendly support team.